Okay, so it is Milky Way time. It's like middle of April, something like the 13th, 14th. Uh, finally got clear skies, plus no new moon. So finally, I'm just going to finally get out and um, hopefully capture the Milky Way rising over the east coast of Scotland because I've not done it this year yet. And it probably might be the last time of the season because obviously when we come into a moon, it's too bright for the Milky Way core. And then after that, it'll be kind of like start middle of may and it'll be kind of going into twilight so might get the odd night but if the weather doesn't allow then that's it for the season so this could be the last night of astro for this season so i'm gonna go for it it's currently midnight i am just leaving perth just now i'm going to head to st well it's a beach near st andrews on the east coast of fife looking over the north sea so obviously no light pollution so hopefully get some really good detail in that milky way core uh yeah Pretty excited, it's really mild as well, so it's just gonna be a nice, mild, easy night, hopefully, of astrophotography. Not much wind, but we're going to the coast, so you never know. So I'm uh, looking forward to it, and yeah, I'll see you in near St Andrews. Okay, so I'm here at um, some beach in Fife now. It wasn't too long, about an hour's drive from Perth. Uh, lovely crystal clear skies. Got a time lapse set up, so my usual sort of setup and go so set up a time lapse uh, at a location and just leave that for the night and then hop around and take pictures with the camera that this is getting filmed on. So I'll take some kind of like panoramas and tracked shots with the Ioptron. Uh, so last time I was here there was only a few rocks that I can remember in the foreground, but now being here again, there's loads of kind of different shapes in the sand from the water's made and different rocks that I didn't see before, so I think the foreground's going to be pretty nice. So the time lapse is just set up over some rocks in the foreground, and then hopefully the milk can be rising in the south. Uh, there's a wee bit of kind of like air glow, it's a wee bit sea misty. I tend to always get a bit of light like sea mist when I'm near the sea, which is really annoying. Um, but yeah, it's half one just now, so the Milky Way is starting to rise and so the time lapse is good just to set up now and then you'll get that arc kind of rising into the frame. So, but I can see the big arch across the sea, so I'll just get a full ground with that with the panel head and then when the Milky Way core core comes up, then I'll get the eye out. So I'll jump about, film what I can and yeah, hopefully the time lapse turns out good and it should stay clear, so looking forward to it. Really mild as well, so shelter from the wind as well. Really comfortable night. I am really closed up, but I like being uh, too warm, rather warm than cold. I can kind of focus more on what I'm doing without thinking about cold hands and feet. We've got hand warmers in, even though it's like seven degrees. It's uh, nice to be toasted. So yeah, I'll just crack on. Okay, so I've actually moved my time lapse. Uh, up the bank because I've noticed that the tide's coming in pretty quickly so I'm not going to risk it. Uh, I could see like the tide line uh, you can see where the debris was like washed up from the, the high tide you know just a line of debris uh, and my tripod was pretty much right on it so I'm not taking any risks uh, I'm just so I'm, I'm up like a bank now you can't really see it up a bank now and um, yeah we'll set the time lapse time lapse up again it's just kind of viewing the bay where I am uh, right, so finally, time lapse is done. But yeah, this tide's coming in really, really quick, so I'll need to watch what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, so let's go and photograph now. now because that's twilight coming in you can just see it on the horizon coming in and um, yeah it's been a fantastic night i've just been going up and down the beach looking at different compositions and yeah i don't know the path around the beach uh, made some for some really good uh, pictures and very very happy with the result so hopefully this time lapse looks good and actually i'll double check it just now 
Yeah, it looks pretty damn awesome. We are shooting towards the south and to the south of here, well, maybe a wee bit south west, is Edinburgh Airport. So there is a lot of air traffic around the area. So there's a, there's a few lines across the sky, but you know, it makes for a, a nice sequence. Plus you can see the tide coming in and then it's just staying like, at the tide mark, which is a couple of, meter, a couple of meters away. Yeah, the time lapse looks awesome. I'll pop it up now. I'll pop some of the images up now. Hopefully, all turned out well. Yeah, I'll just sit and enjoy the daylight coming, and um, yeah, we'll see if that's the last astro night of the season. Alright, so I don't know if you could make me out, it's near kind of the end of April, so it's pretty much the end of the season. I, I've just nipped out, there is like a 75% illuminated moon, but there's partly northern lights out just now, really bright moon, and the activity is kind of dying away, so I've just kind of nipped out. I'm still lighting, I'm lighting my pyjama shorts and everything, so it was really last minute, because uh, I missed the show a few days ago, but um, I'm just going to try and get some last aurora of the season because yeah that's pretty much it after this full moon gets really bright then we don't really have darkness much so um yeah i just want to get one picture of the new van under northern lights again so i'm just outside perth as well um but yeah really really strong activity so i'm just gonna kind of hang around here for like an hour or two and wait for at least some sort of pillar i'm not expecting a fantastic show with the naked eye definitely not but as long as I can get like a wee pillar, it's just something to say goodbye for the Aurora. So we'll see what happens. So typically came out for obviously a wee bit. Got maybe a few colours on camera, but um, the BZ line's gone away back up north. So I'll give it another 15 minutes until our activity kind of flips to this north BZ. And then I'll just leave it at that. And hopefully, well, hopefully that's not the last of the season, but it could be. As you can see behind, there's nothing much there. You can just make it out on the camera, but I'm used to good shows now, so that doesn't excite me anymore. So I'm up at the top of a hill near Perth, photographing a moonrise. It's been quite a rush to get here. Uh, luckily the moon looks nice and golden just now. So we're just setting up a time lapse and hopefully capture a lovely moonrise, a uh, moonset. It is like five in the morning just now. So yeah, pretty early, but this time of year, this time of the season, you have to kind of get up really, really late or really, really early to get some sort of astral fix. So looking like a good moon, moon set. So I shall hopefully put up Pictures, time lapse, if I get it all right. Thankfully, get another wee outing this month as well. So I am um, yeah, very happy. But yeah, not much really. It's just moonrise, moonset over Perth, and yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> 